guess what? The uniparty stepped in. You're part of the problem, you're part of the uniparty. And they don't move me. You have been purchased by the highest price. We spoke yesterday about Lauren Boeber and the situation she now faces with Ken Buck deciding to vacate his seat rather than wait out the end of his cycle, meaning that a special election will have to occur prior to the general to fill his seat, which Lauren Boebert may have to give up her current seat in hopes that she can run and win this new one, or else let somebody get the incumbency advantage, thus making it even harder for her when November comes around. Now remember, she's already running from what was a tough rematch in her own district, doing so in hopes that this election would be a walk in the park and it just increasingly continues to get more and more complicated. Well, she went live yesterday to talk about some of these things and others and what turned out to be an overall painful watch, but we have some of the more notable moments to look at, starting with how because there's a special election, it means it's rigged. I have a very aggressive primary that we are certainly going to talk about because guess what? The Uniparty stepped in and tried to rig an election. Now, remember, what she's talking about here is just Ken Buck deciding to step down a few months early, something completely within his power to do, not really aside from the norm, and that in no way rigs the election. The way they just throw the word rig around because what, it makes it more complicated, really takes power from the word, and it also shows how unserious they are about all of this, as they're just so quick to blame some faceless aggressor who's preventing their success, and in this case, it's the Uniparty, which if she's talking about the wealthy donors who really control the bills that get passed, based. But no, to her, the Uniparty is Ken Buck deciding he's done with the dysfunction in Washington and in his own party. If you can't pass a conservative voting record, then you can't call yourself a conservative. You're part of the problem, you're part of the Uniparty. While these folks are in Colorado talking about what they would do, could do, maybe do, wanna do, I'm actually doing the work and I have a voting record that actually backs that up. So the Uniparty is trying to do everything that they can to stop my candidacy, to rig the election in Colorado, and uh, you know this is breaking news as of yesterday. Ken Buck's announcement yesterday was a gift to the Uniparty. The establishment concocted a swampy backroom deal to try to rig an election, an election that I'm winning by 25 points, forcing an unnecessary special election when the same day as the primary election in Colorado. Now, of course, holding two different elections on two different dates would cost even more taxpayer money, something that Lauren Boebert pretends to care about but now can't understand. And a quick bit of trivia, can anyone in the comments name a bill that Lauren Boebert has passed into law? The Beetlejuice Act doesn't count. She was a little too hands-on with that one. Okay, please don't press unsubscribe, but seriously, this is someone who can't even articulate her own policy agenda, so instead she hyper fixates on the culture war. You can find plenty of clips of Boebert dunking on libs, but you can't find any of her passing bills. Is this the mark of what makes a good Congress member in 2024? And the Uniparty just represents a faceless figure that she can blame all her shortcomings on, so she doesn't have to further explain or point to who or what it is, because it doesn't exist. Instead, it's just this omnipresent mysterious uniparty. And the fourth district will go three months without a voice in Washington, D.C. I believe that Colorado's fourth district deserves better. I will not further imperil the already very slim House uh, Republican majority by resigning my current seat in Colorado's third district, and I will continue to deliver on my constituents' priorities while working hard to earn the votes of the people in the Colorado's fourth district. Also important to remember, the last we looked, she was placing fourth or fifth in straw polling, but I guess we heard it here first. She won't be resigning her current seat. Too much of a gamble with having to possibly be completely out of power for a few months. So it'll be interesting to see who enters and wins the special election if they run again and what kind of incumbency advantage it'll give them and that they can stack up. The benefit that Boebert has and probably knows and part of being part of the Congress herself is that this Congress is the second least productive ever. So odds are the special election candidate who wins won't really be able to get anything done and stack up too much to their favor, but it does at least help even the playing field in terms of name recognition if they do well in getting themselves out there. Just one more thing, you know, I certainly get a lot of critics nationwide um, and they don't move me. 
They don't define me. They don't define you. Those who attack you, that's not where you get your source and your value. You have been purchased by Jesus and his sacrifice. You have been purchased by the highest price. Okay, hold on. People who look like me have a bit of a spotty history with being purchased. I don't think I'm quite on board with it. You could say my ancestors were on board with it right before that ship took them to America. So you can kind of see where I'm coming from. I don't really get what she's trying to say here. It's pretty incoherent. This entire video really was just a ramble session and a plea for donation and votes from someone who knows that their situation is growing increasingly more dire and complicated when they were looking for easy and she needs these caveats to put in place that she can blame when she loses in November. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.